Hello artists, I hope that you're all doing well. Today in art class, we're gonna be practicing our cutting, tracing, gluing, and coloring skills. Whoa, that's a lot. We're gonna have some fun with a little Valentine project. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, it's okay. You can do this project too. You can do it in a way that is not Valentine-ish, so that'll, it'll be okay. Um, we're going to be working on making a little Valentine um, fox, and we're going to be practicing using a lot of shapes and lines. For our project today, you're going to need two pieces of white paper. You're also going to need a pencil, some scissors, glue, and then you're gonna need um, some markers and crayons. If you only have crayons, then just use crayons. If you only have markers, that's okay. Just use markers, that'll be fine. Use what you have. Okay, so we're gonna put one of those papers aside and we're gonna start with our background paper. And we're gonna practice drawing hearts. Now, what I would suggest is that if, if you really have a hard time with hearts, you can make a pattern, a little paper pattern. What you would do is just see if you could find a little piece of scrap paper. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to cut apart a brand new sheet of paper. Just see if you have like a little scrap of paper somewhere. Fold it in half like this so it opens and closes like a card. And on the fold here, you're gonna draw half a heart. So you're gonna start up here on the fold, curve it, and bring it back down. See how that's half a heart? And then you're gonna cut it out like this. And you just cut next to the heart. You don't have to cut on the heart. And then you open it up and you'll have a heart pattern. Now, we're gonna be drawing hearts all over our paper. You, and we're, we're gonna kinda of do them mostly along the edge. You can just draw them. If you know how to draw a heart and, and it comes easier to you, go ahead and just draw a heart. But if you wanna make a pattern, you can do that too. And you can make them different sizes. You can have them going off the edge of the paper. It could even be really silly. You can put them upside down. It's up to you, okay? So you're gonna do that along the whole outside edge of the paper. If you end up putting some in the middle, it's fine, but you don't really have to for this. I'm gonna take my little pattern over here. Whoop. Whoop. I don't like that little spot. Okay. And you can, like I said, you can draw different sizes. Then you're gonna take your crayons and you're gonna trace those hearts or markers if that's what you have. Um, and I'm gonna, I might start with a marker instead. I've been using crayons. And this is, it can be more of a Valentine project, but I also know that some people don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, so if you don't, it's okay, you don't have to even do hearts on the edges. You could choose to do polka dots or maybe diamonds or squares. You know, you can use a different shape for your background, that's fine. So just know that anytime I, if I say we're gonna use a heart or I'm using colors that are sort of more Valentine-ish, you can make the choice to use different colors for it. It's totally fine. So I'm gonna start with the red 
um, and I'm going to use the marker here and I'm just going to go around and trace all of the hearts that I want to be read. And if you're using crayon, that's okay too. You can use both. All right, and then I'm gonna choose another color. Did you notice how I did all the reds, the ones I wanted to be red while I had the red marker in my hand? It just saves a little bit of time. So now I'm gonna choose, I think I'm gonna choose purple. And I'm gonna trace my purple hearts. Well, that purple's really, really dark. It's almost hard to tell it's purple. So you're tracing all of your hearts. You might need to pause the video um, while you're doing that. If you do, that's okay. All right. Now, the background piece we're just gonna put aside. We don't need that. We'll, we'll need it in a little bit. We just don't need it right now. And we're gonna work on making a fox. So we have our other piece of paper and you're gonna need your pencil. And we're gonna leave some room at the top for ears, but we're also going to make, uh, let's see, I think what we'll do, we're, yes, we're gonna leave room at the top for ears and the top of his, his or her head, but we're also gonna start down here kind of like you're gonna go up from the bottom about this much and we're gonna start here and then we're gonna end over here right about here so let me make it darker so you can see so what what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and we're gonna start to curve it and we're gonna go curve and then we're gonna go up down and it's almost like the top of a heart. So I went up, curve down, back up, curve down, like that. And I think this might even look a little better if I make it go down just a little bit more like that. So you might wanna do that. This part right here, we're gonna draw a line that goes straight across for our fox's nose or his snout area, and we're gonna curve it down. I know this looks really silly right now, doesn't it? And then we're gonna add a straight line and a curve for the nose. We're gonna add a cute little mouth and then we're gonna go up here on top and we're gonna draw a line up and a line up and we're gonna connect it. And then we're gonna draw a line up and down like a kind of a curvy triangle. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna go up and back down. And we're gonna do the same thing inside for the inner part of the ear. And we're gonna be kind of silly and we're gonna give them a little bit of hair here, like a little bit of fur. And then we're gonna go, we'll go back down to the bottom and we're gonna do some little cute zigzags, kind of spread them out. Now, for the eyes, you can make your fox's eyes open or closed, or if you want your fox to be winking, you could do them winking. You could even use a heart shape for the eye. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna draw a heart like that. 
Um, and then I'm gonna make a little circle here, kind of like the shine in the eye almost. And then I'm gonna add some cute little um, eyelashes. Now I could do the same kind of eye over here, or if I want my fox to be winking, I'm just gonna draw a curvy line, and then I'm gonna add some eyelashes. Now down here, we're gonna add a couple hearts to the cheeks, or you could do little circles. And you can even do a couple little dots, kind of where his little whiskers or her little whiskers would be. And then we're gonna add a bow tie. Um, if you want a bow up in the hair area, the, he the head area, you can do that instead. But what we'll do is we're gonna start with a square shape down here. And then we're gonna draw a line that goes up and a line that goes down and we're gonna connect them. Now, see how this is inside of it? I don't want that there, so I'm gonna erase it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw a line up, a line down, connect, and erase it. And if I want my bow tie to look 3D, I actually can go like this and just kind of draw a little curve in there and suddenly it looks 3D or like it's real, like it's popping out. And if you wanted to put a design on the bow tie, you could, or if you put it up here. So then you're just gonna trace and you can trace with a ballpoint pen, you could trace with a marker, Anytime you use a marker, I would put something underneath your paper just to help protect the furniture. Um, and we're just gonna trace. When that's done, we're gonna color our fox in. The majority of it here is gonna be white, but we're gonna, we have a few spaces where we can color it in. You certainly can color in your fox's nose, and you can choose what color you wanna make it. And then you can choose a color for your fox's fur up here. So, let's see. Hmm. All right. And I'm gonna color in the ear and I'm gonna leave the inner ear white. If you wanted to color it in a different color, you certainly could. And then we're gonna color over, or color in the hair, a little bit of fur. And we're gonna color here. And we're gonna color in the top of the head here as well like this part of the fur. I'm 
going to turn my paper a little bit. hearts on the cheeks so we can color them in okay. and then we have our bow tie so you get to pick however you want to color the bow tie in too. That's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna use some purple on this one. When you're done coloring, we're going to cut out our whole fox. We're going to leave a little bubble of white paper next to our fox. Oh, and I just realized I didn't color in the eye. So I'm going to go back really quick before I cut, and I'm going to color that in. And if you're not ready to cut yours out yet because you're still working on it, just you can pause the video and then you can restart it when you're ready. Okay, that's better. Now, like I said, we're gonna cut right next to it, but we're leaving a little tiny bubble of white paper around the edge. That way we don't accidentally cut off something that we want. And we're going to keep going. And I'm not going to worry too much about going in between the fur on the head. If you want to, if it's great practice, you can. Oops. There we go. And then down here, I'm going to try to go in there and go around the bow tie. When I'm done, I'm going to need that first paper that I started with. I'm going to figure out where I want my fox. Do I want him or her kind of leaning? Do I want him straight? It's really up to me, however I want to do it. So I'm going to put glue on the back like this, and I'm only putting glue on the edges. You don't need it in the middle. It's kind of wasting it if you put it all over. Just the edges is fine, and then put your cap back on because we don't want it to dry out. And then I think I'm gonna lean my fox this way because I just think it's kind of cute. And then I'm gonna smooth it down. And he's all done. When you're all done with your project, you will have everything colored in that you needed to color in on your fox. The bow tie, the little cheeks, eye, the fur up top. And if you have time and you want to, you could color in the hearts around the edges, but you don't have to. You can just leave them traced like how they are. I hope you had fun working on all of your art skills today. I'll see you next time.